Hey, 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 happy day, awesome Monday. Happens to be a Monday in my neck of the woods. Today is day 99 of what's she up to now? She, S-H-E, being Sharon Hornells from my initials, also known as Pajama Grandma. And I titled this one Moderately Miserable because yesterday I was totally miserable. I actually took a nap yesterday. And my sister, I talked to her on the phone, she's like, oh my God, you must feel bad if you actually took a nap. I did, I took a nap. <laughs> because I felt so miserable and I could not stop blowing my nose. I think I went through three or four boxes of tissue yesterday, filled a couple of waste baskets. It was just like a faucet had turned on in my nose and it went crazy. So today I am feeling less miserable. Woke up today and I said, I feel awesome because it's awesome Monday and I didn't want to feel miserable today. So maybe I'll only go through two boxes of Kleenex today or one box of Kleenex today. Not sure. Working on the One Funnel Away Challenge. Um, from Click Funnels. Today is day, I call it day 29, I think, but they call it uh, week one, week four, mission one. They've got a Mission Impossible theme. Um, my third time through it, and the funnel week, again, it's always the week I think will be the quickest and easiest, and it tends to be the one that, just like for everybody else, it slows us down, and no matter how much funnel experience you have, it's, it's, uh, it's a slowing down process. It's always the one I think is going to be the easiest, and it turns out to be a struggle or a challenge. Not a struggle. I always get it done, but it's a challenge, which is the purpose of a challenge. It's to push us. It's to get us to do things that we're a little bit afraid to do or resistant to do. It's get, uh, challenges get us to push through and do that thing, do that thing we're a little nervous about. Um, Working on the house remodeling project, going pretty well, waiting for the granite to come in so I can match a backsplash. I know this is so exciting to, to hear about, but it's kind of fun. It's, 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 it's fun. It was fun to build the house in the first place, and now that I've gotten over the significant emotional dramatic event of taking out the pieces that I felt were like me, but then I realized my sister reminded me, thank you, that... I designed the whole thing, so the whole thing is me. So taking out and changing pieces is not, it doesn't take away from the house, it actually adds to it. So I will be excited to walk through and show off the finished product. It's gonna be coming together. I haven't been there, I didn't go there yesterday because I felt miserable. But I'll probably go there t today or tomorrow and see how the floors are coming in. They started to install the tile in the entryways, the, the downstairs and the, and the upper front entryway. So that's done. And I would imagine kitchen and laundry room and half bath are probably going to be done today or tomorrow and then I don't I don't believe the carpets arrive but then the carpet and things will go in and maybe they'll do the bathrooms because the bathrooms are all being tiled as well so I'm, I'm excited to go and see the progress it's always fun to see the progress of big projects even though obstacles and challenges and decisions have to be made along the way then that's what this project's reminding me of is we picked out one set of things and then for whatever reason, we had to change those things, the floors, the carpets and things. And now we're actually, it's really interesting. We're back to the original carpeting that my sister and I had picked out. So we're laughing about that. But um, the, uh, the floors and the countertops and everything and paint, color, paint colors, I would say, are the only thing we picked out and went with right off the bat. Um, everything else has changed at least once. But that's sort of the nature of projects. It's the nature of whatever we do, right? How often... Have you ever set a goal or decided you wanted to do something or achieve something and it went from point A where you are right now to you achieved that thing. Boom, presto, magico. Just like overnight or being an overnight success, right? Here I am 599 days into sharing my, my journey, my, my business journey from the offline to the online world. And I guess it just goes to show you that even though I could do things really well in the offline world, the online world has proven to be a challenge, a different challenge for me. And and I'm, it just is what it is. I could say, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that already and compare myself to other people. And don't get me wrong, I've done plenty of that. And all that's ever done is made me feel bad and significantly slowed my progress in what it is that I'm trying to achieve. Because what I want to do with my life and with my businesses and with my online activities is different than what anyone else wants to do. Yeah, some of the things, some of the measures of success are the same as everybody else, but or other people, not everybody else. We're all different. But a lot of them are totally different. My motivation now and what I want to achieve now versus what I wanted to achieve 10 years ago, light years different. Because I've had experiences in that 10 years that have changed me as a person and 
I like to think maybe a better person, maybe a lot nicer person, that's for sure. A lot easier to get along with, although I'm still pretty direct and to the point. Uh, I'm a lot nicer than I used to be. And it's because of those experiences that I've had in that last 10 years that have, um, I guess, tempered my demeanor or whatever. But they, the things that happen to us, the experiences we have, they change us and they make us hopefully a better human being. So working on the One Funnel Away Challenge, working on getting ready to go on the gym boat. I haven't done anything. I haven't booked a room. I haven't booked a, um, a flight. I was going to do it yesterday, but I felt so miserable I didn't do it. So I'll get to that this week and a couple other things that I've been putting off. Just little things that, little detailed things that you just want to knock out so you don't even have to think about them again. I don't know about you, but I used to have this, you know, four page or 400 item to-do list that always followed me around. And no matter how much I did, no matter what I did, I always had that weight of that unfinished to-do list bearing on my mind. And a couple years ago, actually one of the best things I've learned from do going to the online world is that you have to focus on one thing. And I um, was exposed to the one thing um, book and the one thing theory from one of my coaching students. And I learned that I get so much more done and feel so much better about it when I have one main thing that I'm going to accomplish in the day and then once I do that I can knock off some other things but once I've accomplished that I have this amazing sense of euphoria that I've actually gotten something done instead of having that 400 item to-do list nagging away at me I've actually accomplished the one main thing that is going to help me in any in every other area of my life so instead of having 12 that I may or may not get done I have one main thing. Today, my one main thing is my mind. One main thing is always to produce my content, to always publish. My second main thing today happens to be cardiologist. I have to go see my, my heart doctor and get a checkup and get some prescriptions and things, but that's an ongoing thing. So my one main thing that I have to accomplish today is that. Well, and my granddaughter. So I guess I have lots of main things, but um, the you know I always just have the one thing. So if I make it to the cardiologist and if I create my content and if I hang out with my beautiful granddaughter, I consider today a success. And anything else that I accomplish along the way is just gravy. And it just it allows me the chance to feel better, to feel like I've accomplished, to feel like I'm making progress toward my goals instead of feeling like I'm running around on that hamster wheel and never, ever, ever getting ahead. No matter how much I did. And I used to do a lot. Um, I never felt like I was making the progress that I should be making. And so it's really nice to let go of that feeling. It just it was just a perspective change. It was just a way of changing the way I look at what I'm doing. I'm still doing a lot of stuff, but I'm not beating myself up for not getting things done. I'm appreciating and acknowledging and being grateful for the things that I do accomplish and that I do get done. So if I can help you with anything, go ahead, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to still be nursing my cold today. I admit it. I'm going to be taking it easy today. I wish you an absolutely amazing day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.